Yo! What is going on, guys? It is Sam or Burns. Huge thanks to Mr. iPod King Carter himself for letting me post this on his channel. I know there's not much football. I know iPod King Carter is mainly basketball. But maybe you guys listen to this, watch this, tell me what you think. Maybe come check out my channel, it's in the description. Uh, and, you know. It, it's we're all one big community. We're all commentators. We all we all try to help each other out, and it's great that iPod King Carter does this uh, series. And I'm so happy to you know have a chance to be on here. So let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I am 15 years old. I'm uh, I've currently been on YouTube, at least the channel I have now for seven months. About I've gained about 500 ish subscribers. Uh, I got like su cl upwards of 60 videos, pretty close to 60 videos. I bring. NCAA football, I'm going to be bringing Madden, uh, NBA 2K13 when that comes out. The reason I don't post any NBA 2K12 on my channel, I had a Reggie Miller creating a legend going, but the reason I don't post that anymore is because my 2K is broken, and that's no fun when I when it freezes every time I try to play a game. So hopefully 2K13 will be a big step for me. Um, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty small in the YouTube community, but I'm starting to get my name out there, and it really feels good, I'm going to be honest. But yeah, guys, uh, this is a gameplay from NCAA Football 13. I'm in an online dynasty. Uh, if you do know not as fan, this is his online dynasty. I'm playing against a user game. I am SMU. He is the user. Other user is Baylor. And this was a really good game. It's already up on my channel, but I just thought it was such a good game. I wanted to get it out there a little more. And you see there, I kicked the field goal, go up 3 nothing. And now here's Nick Florence. He's back to pass, looking on the left side. And that's going to be a... Catch by number three, a big leaping catch. Great catch there. And I'm going to talk about the uh, gameplay a lot because that's what I like to do. I do play-by-play -play a lot. And and yeah, so and you see number three breaking it and going to dive in the end zone. But it's all fun and games, so I I wasn't mad or anything. You know, no, I'll, I'll showboat a little bit myself. So here we got a screen pass to Zach Line, who's going to break that tackle. Break that tackle. He's going to avoid that tackler and that tackler. And he's going to cut inside, and he's got a huge screen pass there that's going to go for a touchdown and give SMU a 10-7 to lead here in the first quarter. And Baylor back with the ball. Florence going to fake it to Seastrunk. Rolling out to his right, finding his tight end, Monk, who's going to get the first down and change about a 14-yard gain. Now here's third and four. Nick Florence back to pass, looking on the right side. Got it! That's Reese, and he's going to get himself into the end zone. And the lead will change once again. Baylor goes up 14 to 10. But yeah, if you guys want to check out my channel, if you like what you see here, the link is in the description, along with my Twitter and my Facebook. Go follow me on Twitter. That's the best way to communicate with me. And and yeah, I've had a lot of people tell me that I can be big on YouTube. And you know, I really hope so. But I have to just try to get my name out there. You see the handoff to Zach Line for a 10-yard gain. And the problem with Zach Line in this game is he's a beast, but he gets hurt a lot, so. Uh, I don't know what I was doing here. I must have edited this wrong. That doesn't matter. We got Garrett Gilbert back to pass. Nowhere to go, really. So he's going to get hit as he throws. And get, eh, just eh, just throw it to the right side and not much on it. So that would lead to a punt. And here's Baylor. Next possession. Nine-yard gain to number three. I just don't know his name because it doesn't come up for some reason. And looking on the right side. And that's going to throw over his head. Incomplete fourth and one. That would lead to a punt. And here you have Gilbert back to pass. Going to dump it down to Zach Line again. He's got the outside. Can he make it to the end zone? No, but he's tackled at the 25-yard line with a minute and a half remaining in the first half. And that is a very good uh, play for me, and it works. And here's the pass over the middle for Ginyard. He is nailed as he catches it. That doesn't matter. He hangs on because he's a beast receiver. Now here's Gilbert looking for somewhere to go. And he's going to throw back across his body. You're never supposed to do that as a quarterback. But he still gets in the end zone. That's Johnson, I believe, and SMU goes up 17-14. Now here's Florence. He's got his screen pass set up for Seastrunk. Does a little juke move. Gets the blocks on the outside. Can he go all the way? No, he jukes right into my defender, but a big gain here. 50 seconds remaining, and the guy I played did not know how to manage his timeouts very well. Um, so he'll get down first and goal right here. So you, you think he's got a very easy touchdown, right? Well... I don't, I don't know. Does he? Here we go. First and goal. Florence back to pass. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Who sacked. 
And you think he'd use a timeout here, maybe try to get a field goal? I don't know. And he does not. So at halftime, the Mustangs lead 17-14. But I do have plans for other games in the future. Uh, Madden, I'm doing a subscriber connected careers. I have a subscriber online dynasty in NCAA 13. It's running very well. I have a subscriber connected careers. Um, I will be doing an offline uh, connected careers, maybe a franchise. You know, it, we'll all see ultimate team. And now I'm going to get, you know, 2K doing my player series like everybody else does. Blah, blah, my player. It's really over overshown, but hopefully I can make it my own. And you see Florence coming to the line again, second down and 10, back to pass, anywhere to go. Look over the middle. He's got his fullback who's going to barrel his way into the end zone. He wasn't very fast, but he got in the end zone, and that's what matters. Now Gilbert back to pass again, right side for Zach Line. He's going to cut, and he is going to find the end zone again on a huge screenplay. And if it ain't broke, they'll fix it, right? Dive into the end zone. SMU takes a 24 21 lead now here in the wildcat formation gonna hand off to reese he's a really speedy receiver i've learned this and he's gonna break a couple tackles and then be pushed out of bounds at the 43 yard line so second down and 10 florence back to pass nowhere to go he's gonna roll left and just run and i thought that was a block in the back right there on richardson but florence will slide down at the 34 yard line for a big run by the quarterback and here, over the middle, going to find his receiver, who's going to get himself in the end zone. We change leads again. What a game. 28-24, Baylor. Gilbert back to pass. Screen pass? I think, yes. Zach Line going to get another first down. Spin, bounce off that guy, bounce off that guy. What a beast. He's a really good power back, who actually has some decent speed. So if you guys like those kind of uh, the, this kind of offense, I'm running the Boise State playbook because Boise State is my home state team. About two hours. I have se away. I have season tickets to their games, and I use their playbook, and it works really well with this SMU team. It works really well with any team, honestly. It's just a, a multiple offense runs. It's a balanced run and pass offense, and it's very useful. You know, there's a lot of different plays in there for different situations. There's Zach Line getting third and goal and getting hurt again. So we got Gilbert back to pass on the screen. Johnson, he's finding his way in the end zone. That's a touchdown. SMU up 31-28. Well, this is crazy scoring. And you see a really awesome catch right there by Reese. Going to get two feet in bounds. I couldn't tell if he was out of bounds or not. But that doesn't really matter. They, I, uh, I, they, uh, sorry. They did a booth review and it stood weird, huh? I would have thrown it right there. But Florence is going to get a 14-yard run. Florence can run the ball pretty well. He's not as fast as RG3, but... Firing over the middle for number three. That is his favorite target. And that's going to be about an eight-yard gain. Now we got third down and ten later in the drive. Florence over the middle. Going to find number three again. Touchdown, Baylor. 35-31. to 35-31, yes. Now Gilbert back to pass. Right side for Dougal. That's an awesome name for my fullback. I love that name. Uh, I don't know. Cool names in this game. Are just, like I've seen funny names. Uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool to see some of the names it comes up with, uh, when it's like auto generates them. And there you see my backup tailback Williams running for a good game. Not bad. And here's a setting up screen pass for Williams. Who's just going to run juke, run, spin, juke, bounce. I don't know. Many different actions in one. And here's second down in one. Williams going to bounce off another tackler. He tried to use the hit stick a lot and my running back would bounce off a lot of those tackles. We only got three and a half minutes remaining. It's a four point game. I'm going to go deep here for Johnson, and that's going to get us down to the 10-yard line. This is crazy. 2.56 remaining. Hand off to Wimley. That's another cool name. Second down and seven. It's going to be a six-yard gain for third and one. Huge play here. First and goal now, and Gilbert's just going to dive into the end zone for the touchdown. SMU goes up 38-35. to Here's Florence back to pass. Nowhere really to go. He's going to avoid that, and he's going to try to throw on the left side. And that's going to be incomplete over his running back's head. Now, here he is looking for another receiver. Two minutes remaining. He fumbles. Griner, Griner, I don't know, but he picks it up. SMU's going to win this game. Gilbert going to draw a play to Williams. And he's hit his heart. He fumbles. No. Why? And Baylor gets the ball back just to play later. Two minutes remaining. They still are alive in this game. He's going to go deep. And that's going to get over Smith's head. 
And here's me just fail all sorts of user failing. I don't know what was going on, but that's going to be a Baylor touchdown. And Baylor looking good. They're up by four in the minute 52 remaining. First and 10. I got to start passing the ball a little more. Gilbert back to pass. Over the middle for Holloman. That's a good gain to the 50-yard line. All right, we got a drive going maybe. First down and 10 from the 50. About a minute and a half remaining. Coming up on it. Gilbert back to pass. Looking over the middle. And that's picked off. No. That could be it. There's only a minute and a half left. If he can just get a first down, this game will be over. So, minute 29 remaining. He's going to run the ball, obviously, right? Yeah, left side. And he's knocked out of bounds. I don't have to use a timeout of a three-yard gain. And here's second and seven. Why are you passing when you have to run the ball to run the clock out? And that's going to be an interception. And I am still alive and I didn't have to use one timeout. Poor decision-making on my opponent's part. But Williams going up the left side. Just all sorts of failing. I'm just going to run out of bounds. Stop the clock. Save a timeout. So 42-38 here. Gilbert back to pass. We're coming up on a minute remaining. He's going to find Holloman, who's going to be tackled a, a yard short of the first down line. So a minute remaining. Now Gilbert going to throw to the left side for Williams. And that's going to be a first down. Big first down. A minute remaining. And I do believe I go no huddle right here to save a timeout. I, and it, it was a good decision because then I can, you know, use a timeout if it's a situation where I need one. So I'm just scrolling through my plays and I'll find the one I want. So a minute and one second remaining. First and 10 from the 22-yard line. Gilbert in the shotgun and he's back to pass. Going to just throw to Thompson who hangs on to the ball luckily. But that's a seven-yard gain. I have to use a timeout. So third and three. Gilbert, what was that? Why did you not pass it to the guy? Just You threw it way too far in front of him. So fourth and three. This is game right here. Gilbert, back to pass. Left side finds Ginyard. Did he get it? They say he did. The season is still alive. Because I'm going for a national title, if that's even possible. And rolling out here, going to find Johnson on the right side. Touchdown Mustangs, 45-42. 36 seconds remaining, but he has all three timeouts. Can he get a big gain? No, there's his big gain right there to the 50-yard line. 30 seconds remaining. No timeout. Why no timeout? 23, 22, back to pass. Going to find his running back who stays in bounds. 19, 18. The clock keeps ticking, and he finally calls a timeout with 16 seconds left. Second and one now. Back to pass. Florence over the middle, nearly picked off by Scott, but he finds his favorite receiver for another big gain. Now six seconds remaining. Why? Why you don't you just kick a field goal and he gets lucky? If he's tackled in bounds, this game's over. Two seconds left now, and the SMU can't really do much except watch this field goal go in as we head to overtime, tied at 45. Mustangs, Bears, great game so far. Really high scoring, not much defense, and it was it's been very exciting. So the Mustangs lose the coin toss, and Baylor will select to defend their end zone first. So first and ten now. I didn't see what I wanted. I was trying to get an, uh, an audible for Ginyard to go on like a corner route into the end zone. Didn't really get what I wanted. So Gilbert's just going to go back to pass. Nowhere really to go. going to dump it down to Ginyard, who's going to lose a yard, I believe. About maybe not. Well, he's not going to get anything. Let's leave it at that. Gilbert back to pass, second and 10. Nowhere to go on the screen pass, and he is sacked for 11 yards. Not good. Third and 21. This is out of field goal range, so if we don't convert here, it could be over. Right side. He's got a man. Thompson. Touchdown, SMU. 51-45. Now 52-45. Now it's his turn on offense. And his receiver, Monk, cannot catch the ball. So that's going to lead to second and 10 right here. Nearly caught. Nearly picked. Nearly picked again. Third down and 10. He's got two downs to get into the end zone, or at least get a first down. He's got nowhere to go. Going to dump it to the right side. Seastruck's going to lose four yards, so fourth and 14. He has to get a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Florence, back to pass, middle, batted down by Roundtree. Mustangs survive, so great game. As you can see, it was very exciting. I'm, I really love NCAA. I'm having fun with it. I don't know how much I'll end up playing once Madden comes out because of all the new physics engines and stuff. But the Mustangs win and prove to 1-0 and on this season. So, yeah, guys, if you want to see any more of Online Dynasty, of SMU, of whatever, just come to my channel. The link's in the description. I'm really excited that I got to post here. So, I want to thank you all for watching. 
because it means a lot. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys later.